Okay, so this is the promise supplemental video of looking at salts and determining if they are acidic, basic, or neutral, whether they were hydrolyzed is what we call it. I worked through this previous one with you in our last lesson. Okay, so we're going to work through the rest of these. The next one, and I showed you both ways that it could be written when we look at it, and I'll write it this way, in a CHO2, because I'm not an organic chemist. I like to put my cation first and my anion second. I know uh, it is an ionic compound because I recognize the metal. Metals become cations in compounds in these salts. So I have this, okay? Then I examine the cation and the anion. The cation is a 1A metal. I know that is neutral, but that's kind of a memorized statement. The way I don't memorize it is to say, does it have a proton to donate? No. Could it accept a proton? Well, protons are positively charged. It wouldn't accept a proton. Is it small and highly charged so it can do that funky thing with water? No, this is neutral. I look at my anion. My anion will not donate if it's negatively charged, okay? Could it conceivably accept a proton? The question is, if it accepted it, would it throw it onto the strong acid list? If it did, it wouldn't accept it. Well, if I put an H on there, it's not on my strong acid list. So I know that this guy is going to be a proton acceptor. So it's a base. Okay? And if I needed to write that base with water, I could do a similar reaction that I have here with that. But that's all we're asking here is determine if the salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. And I now know that it is basic. Okay? NaNO3. I see that cation, so I know it's a salt. It breaks apart into Na plus and NO3 minus. I've already established, and we've talked through that this is neutral many times. Here's the anion. If it accepted a proton, that's all anions can conceivably do is take on an H plus, would it be on my strong acid list? HNO3. I think through my list. Yes, that's one of my strong acids, so it cannot accept that proton, and that makes it neutral. So this is a neutral salt. K2SO4. This is a tricky one for students. We know it breaks apart. Here's my cation, there's my anion. I have a couple of the K pluses, and I have SO4, 2 minus. The same reason that this is neutral and this is neutral, this is neutral. It doesn't have a proton to donate. It's not going to accept a proton. It's positively charged. It is not a small, highly charged metal. That's no high charge. So this is neutral. I come to this guy. And I ask myself, could it conceivably accept a proton? Yes, it's negatively charged. If it accepts a proton, is it on the strong acid list? And this is where students mess up. H2SO4 is on the strong acid list, but that's not its conjugate acid. What is its conjugate acid? It's only HSO4 minus. That is not on my strong acid list, okay? H2SO4 is, this is not, so it can accept that proton. So a proton acceptor is a base, and this would be a basic solution, okay? FeClO4, three minus. FeClO4, three, oops, three, I said three minus, just three. All right, ionic compound, we have iron with a three plus charge, and we have three of the perchlorate ions, okay? So we start with this guy. It doesn't have a proton to donate. There's no H on it, right? It's not going to accept a proton because it's positively charged, but is it a small, highly charged ion? When I define highly charged, three or higher is highly charged. So this is an example of an acidic cation by our, and I keep calling it the funky way, all right? When it surrounds itself by water, because we've dissolved it in water, the water that's attached to it is and makes it acidic. So that's acidic. Come over here, and we're going to see if this is a battle of the Ks or not. ClO4 minus, if I add an H to it, it's HClO4. Is that on my strong acid list? Yes. So it cannot accept that proton, and this guy is neutral. 
So this guy can act as an acid, all right? Um, and so there we have us running through all of those um, for this problem. So if you're still struggling with it, I understand, okay? It is difficult to recognize you have an ionic compound. It's difficult to understand how it fits in that table, but you've got to practice it, practice it, practice it.